uh, we got a bunch of text messages saying, hey, you guys are back. Can't wait to watch the video podcast hey. every day now. Uh-huh. You know what? Absolutely. We're going to have that up for you right after the show. And by the way, if you didn't know that, on the uh, 99.9 virginradio.ca, you can watch us every single day. Imagine. It's a new year. Hopefully not a new you. We liked you the way you were. And we hope that we're bringing some fun, positive energy into 2021. It was a tough year in 2020. Oh. We already know that. Yeah. 2021, I think, the key word's going to be hope. We're on the upswing. Hope. 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 Is, just, that's just a little bit of hope. A little bit. Yeah. Now, checking in with everybody before we can tell you how you're going to live rent-free in 2021, which is spectacular and super cool. We're going to tell you that in a second. First, let's check in with everybody. TJ, what's on your mind? I want to bring attention to something called masks, which I don't know if you guys have <laughs> noticed, but over the last few months, a lot more people have been wearing masks, yes. and some people have been very upset about the idea of wearing masks. They have. Here's another point why masks are good. I aggressively cut my you face did shaving. <laughs> and I have a huge cut on my lip. But here's the thing. It's so rough. No one can tell because I have a mask on. It has hidden my zits yeah. and now it has hidden... Are you okay? I don't know. I lost a lot of blood yesterday. Yeah. And if a forensic team ever ever goes in my apartment, oh. they're yeah, not No blue time. lights in your apartment. No, for many yeah. reasons. Jax, There's what's up? There's another reason to watch our video podcast is to see TJ's wound. He looks like Cindy Crawford with that thing, by the way. <laughs> I just uh, wanted to talk about good omens going into 2021 because you know you have your lucky things you have your lucky things that you can recognize and i want to know if my dog's throwing up on my floor at uh at, at 4 30 this morning is a good omen good omen yes, yes. i like it okay. it's like when they say you know when a pigeon poops on you and apparently yes. that's yeah. good luck yeah, yeah i think some some gross happens so something good's gonna happen you I know what i'm saying uh, reggie hope you're okay yeah <laughs> i'm sure he's fine he's just sad to lose you uh jesse what's up amongst the top five most searched things when people are looking for an apartment are Number four is Peloton. What? what? Oh, the yeah. other four in the top five don't matter, but Peloton people are some of the most ridiculous oh, humans <laughs> alive. Why? Why do you think they're they ridiculous? They are so into I quick. So I know a girl. Mm-hmm. She posts her tele her Peloton run every no! single day. Why do you post that? And when there's a new <laughs> challenge, yeah. oh, she posts no. an update. And she says, I, I'm so excited to climb this mountain. <laughs> girl, it's not that important. <laughs> Nobody have cares. You, have you guys seen the TikTok? TikTok account that will show clips of Peloton uh, like teachers, instructors, no. and just the wild things yeah. they say while like Darud Sandstorm is playing. Please oh, send yeah. that to me, please. Oh no, my god. We're wild. putting that okay, we're gonna put that on our Instagram and Twitter so anybody who wants yeah. to check it out can check it out. Now I do want to quickly mention this that you can live rent free in 2021. So here's the deal. Okay. We're gonna give you a keyword this morning at eight o'clock. We're gonna do it again at 10 mm-hmm. o'clock and then again all day today. And the idea is that you text us back that word, right? Whatever that word is, you text it back in, you got 10 minutes. If we call you after that 10 minutes is up because you texted that word and we got your phone number, you're going to win a smart speaker so you can listen to us at home. And then you'll be entered for the draw to win rent for the entire year, $30,000. It's 99.9 Virgin Radio. Not bad, we're kicking it in an hour. I hear a lot about CJ and Jax. A 99.9 Virgin Radio. In case you're wondering, rent-free in 2021, yes, it includes mortgages. Yeah, That's maybe, yeah. what we're doing at 8 o'clock this morning. It's our first keyword, and it means you, rent-free or mortgage-free, but we're calling it rent-free. It's easier. In 2021, we're going to get you a smart speaker literally every time you qualify. Yeah. yeah, which is awesome. And then, of course, the big grand prize, which is you not having to pay to live. How nice is that? It's pretty. Think about what that does for your year. No, oh, it's, it's, I mean, it changes your entire year. You don't even have to go to work. You can just say, you know, you call your boss. I can't make it today because I have money. Oh, yeah. I can't do it. I, was, <laughs> I can't do it. I'm fine. I was talking about the smart speaker. But yeah, the <laughs> grandpa's <laughs> nickel too. Now, uh, things you'd like to see happen in 2021. Because here's the thing. I feel like there's, okay, there is, everybody makes New Year's resolutions this year. But mm-hmm. I did not see a lot of, you know, you, you know your self-important friend that needs to post oh, yeah. this stuff. Oh, yeah. I did not see a lot of that this year. What I saw <laughs> on Insta stories was more like, Okay, if we could just get the vaccine in the yeah. first three months, yeah. that'd be yeah. super duper. Yeah. You know what I mean? It seems like we're hoping collectively, which is kind of nice, right? Mm-hmm. In, in, in a vacuum. So I wanted to know, not a prediction necessarily, but things you'd like to see yeah. happen in 2021, including living rent-free. Yeah. Okay, so 
mine's kind of this broad thing. I look forward to the summer this year as like the time when things are going to really yep. shift. Yeah. Uh. This, is, this is my hope. So for me, it's like the reopening of local businesses and restaurants, yes. obviously, yeah. when it's safe to do so. But mm -hmm. like the idea that it's summer, things are reopened, people are happy and healthy and with, the weather's nice mm -hmm. I and mean, you're not trapped inside anymore. People can start going on Tinder dates again. That'd be fun. And, and be not nice. feel incredibly anxious yeah, exactly. about it. Yeah, exactly. Jax, what about you? On a small scale, because I know that this may not happen, but I'd like to see some sort of pride happen this year. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. Because obviously we didn't have pride last year. And it's not only pride the celebration, but how many businesses that pride supports yeah. mm -hmm. and how, how much tourism it brings as well to the to the city. So I hope that something celebratory-wise can happen with pride this year. I like that. I personally cannot wait to see a sports event live. I know, honey, anything. I know. Anything. Anything. Yeah. So here's the thing. They're saying that with outdoor stuff, that'll happen, that'll come back sooner. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. yeah. So that means that if, say, uh, the Rogers Center, yeah. if the if the dome's open, chances are they're only going to be allowed to bring oh. more people in if it's a nice day this summer for the Blue Jays. Yeah. TFC, another outdoor, <sighs> completely open air stadium. But the by the way, TFC, oh, well, <laughs> go Argos. Even that I don't think would draw no? people. Okay. But, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, but <laughs> TFC, He's unbelievable live. Oh, yeah. um, so and and I'm, I can't personally, like the Leafs are back in a couple weeks. Yeah. The Raptors are already back. They're not doing great, but they'll, they'll turn it around. I think it'll be nice to see a sporting event and I cannot wait for it. Now, I want to read you a headline before we really get into this because we're going to turn it over to you at 416-872-9999 or 999 to text from the Daily Star in the UK, which is, admittedly is a bit tabloidy. Okay. Just a bit. They're going to call, they're saying that once the vaccine is rolled out and 60%, yeah. 60, 70% of the population has it, they're going to start the, the reaction to being able to do stuff again. They're calling it the Roaring 2020s. Because oh, there's the Roaring 20s yeah. last century, yeah. right? It, and they said it's greasing your hair and <laughs> dancing. No, I mean, no, it will be post vaccine sex fest in the era of vice and indulgence. Even better. That's what experts are predicting. And I am in. <laughs> All the way in for that. I'm gonna be in a flapper dress. Yeah. I'm just watch out. You watch out. I'm, I'm gonna start talking like I'm in this one of these. Okay. Again. <laughs> hey, buddy. Yeah, and then. <laughs> that's all you got? <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> With Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jax. On 99.9 Virgin Radio. I don't think we need resolutions this year. I think we just need a little bit of hope. Yeah. So, what do we hope happens in 2021? TJ, what are the text messages saying? I got a really cute one here from the 905. I'm hopeful for my wedding. We had to postpone oh, it last yeah. year for obvious reasons. It's now coming up in early June. They wrote that in quotation marks. <sighs> and we're just having positive thoughts. We're hoping for the best here. Tight. You're tight you're timelines. You're really cutting it close. Yeah. But you probably now, got a sweet no, deal. I, I think it's going to happen. Well, I hope I so. I will it to happen. It, you know, it probably could happen once the temperature goes up and the disease sort of dies off a little bit. Apparently, that that's a thing that happens. And that's why it was so low all mm -hmm. summer. But the other thing is that, you know, obviously there's going to be a lot more availability of vaccines. So you'd probably be able to go and at least have a mask on. Yeah. Which is which is better than it not yeah. happening, right? Yeah. I like that. A uh, couple more here. This one's kind of... Jax, you're going to hate this. Uh, I'm oh, hopeful no. for Joe Exotic to get out of prison. Oh, God. <laughs> Jax does not like that. He, he shouldn't get out of prison, man. No, like, he just should not get out of prison. If he gets out of prison, I, I'm giving up. <laughs> I'm giving up. <laughs> if Joe Exotic gets out of prison, I'm done. I'm, I'm going to put that on a t-shirt. Uh, another one from the 416. Uh, I'm hoping for a hug this year. Yeah. Just being able to hug your buds. That'd be pretty sweet, right? That'd be nice. I got a new body pillow. That's all you need, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the body pillows don't hug you back. That's the biggest problem. They you need to have arms that. attached that like kind of yeah, you gotta get one with gently. Arms. Yeah, get one with arms that vibrates and it's a whole new world. Uh, last one from the four one six. I'm hopeful for more trash from Netflix, telling Sunset, True. Tiger King, yeah. whatever it may be. <clears throat> send it. Well, those are the thing is that I think that those are pretty easy to shoot, even yeah. from even with a uh, like a mask policy. Yeah. And let's be honest, our friends to the states are not taking this the same way I, we are. No, they are not. So I'm no, sure there'll be not. plenty yeah. to watch yeah. on Netflix this year that was shot down there. Well, they're already <laughs> starting to do a lot of like stand up specials as well, like with live audiences now, as long as everyone's tested. So like you can see the shift of like live television yeah. and like TV production starting to come back. Oh, so it's boy. really nice to see. Come on, it's yeah. 99.9 Virgin Radio. Let Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jax. On 99.9 Virgin Radio. I think we have it already. The worst app of 2021 has been discovered and taken down from the Apple Store. Okay. Can't get it anymore. But Apple had to ban this app. They were called, it was called Vibe Together, V-Y-B-E. Mm. And it allowed users to organize secret parties that would breach social distancing Stop. rules in many cities. <laughs> At the time of the writing of the article, and this is from Mashable, 
It's not available, and it's not available right now. I just checked. Okay. But uh, they said, <laughs> the app's Instagram profile said, the app store took us down. We will be back. So I, they may just don't, change the name and like... Don't come back. Yeah, no, don't, don't maybe come don't. back. Yeah. So, here was huh. the description. Miss playing beer pong, flirting with strangers, and generally having a blast with the crew. Vibe is here for you. Get your rebel on. Get your party on. The app's Instagram page also says you can find your vibe, local wine nights, beer pong games, and uh, dancing at an apartment near no, you. No, you can't because we're in a lockdown. Come Stop on. it. Now, <laughs> <laughs> like, no, you can't. I think in a non-lockdown situation, this is probably a bad idea too. Because if you start advertising apartment parties uh, on, that's on, it. on an app, like I, I think yeah. you're asking for trouble, right? I okay. dated somebody that lives in one of the condos in the entertainment district, like okay. right by Scotiabank Arena, oh, and yeah. they had a huge problem where people would post on Facebook that they were having like club nights at the condo and they used to rent out the, uh, what do they call it? The like party, the party, party rooms? Party rooms, yeah. And then they would throw parties with like a hundred yeah. people there and they'd have to shut them down every weekend. Ugh. I lived at a building um, at, at Jarvis and Charles called mm. X2. Oh. X2. Oh, I know that and building. It, it, oh, yeah, so yeah. they yeah. had to, uh, when I got there, it was just at the end of the fun scene. Yeah. But the first weekend I was there, the entire patio, which is outside, was filled with people. And they and I went down and they were like, oh, welcome to Club X. I was like, what the Excuse hell are you talking me? Yeah. about? Yeah. So it's right outside of, right off of Church Street, yeah. and it was summer was just coming on, so obviously people are out there, and these there are these men, and these men are the most gorgeous looking men I've ever oh, seen in my life. They're gay carved men. from marble, and, yeah. like, and they're yeah. wearing nothing. Beautiful and I'm like, gay men. And yeah. I'm like, what is this like crazy party? And the next Heaven. week, they basically banned it, and you had to have an apartment ID to even be on the Whoa. patio, which they would yeah. check regularly. They had a security guard out there because people kept turning it into like club. club. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the boys will find another place. Uh -huh. Don't you worry. Oh, they found. Yeah. I'm sure they did. <laughs> I Man. love it. Anyway, I love it. What's yeah. this app called again? It the is called. App? It's called Vibe Together, but it's gone. Okay. Has it? How long has it been around? Because like this clearly was around when I was in high school, and that's how I didn't hear about the parties. Oh, that must be. Yeah, that's it. That's the only thing that's I can think. That's for sure definitely the reason, that's what man. It is. I shouldn't read into it, right? Yeah, no. That's definitely not. Right. <laughs> 99.9 .9 Virgin Radio. Good mornings. With What's Trending. And this is What's Trending right now. There was a big analysis done of 174 studies and found that this quality was the most important for happy relationships. The answer psychological flexibility. What does that mean? <laughs> Who knows? But put it in your Tinder profile and roll the dice, baby. Did uh, they get it? Did they extrapolate on that they, at all? They or? did, and here's my understanding of it. It means contacting the present moment fully as a conscious human being and based on what the situation affords, changing or persisting in behavior and the science of those chosen values. So essentially what it means is being able to adapt to situations, both like socially, emotionally, whatever, like your your long-term wants or desires, that type of stuff. Just based being able, able to be like, yeah, I'll do that. Roll with the punches. Yeah. 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 You know what? Honestly, they're right. You ever dated somebody that's like super inflexible? It's yeah. My, yes, I have. Yeah. It's rough. That's yeah. pretty inflexible. Yeah. And then, <laughs> are you? Are you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have noticed that. Yeah. Okay, okay. Did you park in your pod this morning, TJ? I didn't. I had to park across from my pod. Oh, oh no. Yeah, it's true. fine. <laughs> Uh, the office, not really. The office officially left American Netflix on January 1st, and a lot of Americans threatened to move to Canada. So you might have saw over the break that a lot of people were saying, the office is off Netflix. And people were freaking out. That didn't happen to Canadian Netflix. It only happened in America because it went to yeah. NBC streaming platform called Peacock. Uh, it's not here in Canada, so it's going to be on Netflix mm -hmm. for a while. But there were some people on Twitter that were legitimately oh, yeah. claiming that they were going to move to Canada mm -hmm. because the office was taking off, taking off Netflix. And I know it sounds wild. Yeah. Especially like if you're not a fan of The Office, but you have to imagine that like we talked about this a couple months ago that if The Office got pulled off Canadian Netflix, that's enough for people to cancel subscriptions. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, I understand is different. I don't from, think it is. I think it is. I think you guys. Okay, I think we've got three extreme Office fans in this room, and then me who likes The Office but has it in a reasonable category. And I think I, that no. to say that you would cancel Netflix because The Office isn't there is a little ridiculous, guys. I'm sorry. I hate to say this to you. Both, but it's ridiculous. You want to tell him? It's you one show. No, you go ahead. It's you one show. Adam, you're a little bit ridiculous yeah. about that. Yeah. Yeah. I lost Gossip Girl on the 31st Aww. of December. It's gone now. I don't know when it's coming back, but it's not on Netflix anymore. As a 32 year old man, are you okay? I you love. Yeah. I, I was getting into it. Dan and Serena forever, man. You start. had like 14 years to get into it. Get <laughs> I over know. it. I know. I missed it. <laughs> Just start watching New Girl because yeah. one, it's no. delightful, and two, it drives Jackson producer Jesse crazy when I 
bring up New Girl because they just don't like it. Mm. Zoe Deschanel, she's so she's so quirky. Uh, the Weeknd says his new album is inspired by COVID, Black Lives Matter, and the 2020 election. Yes. That's right. The Weeknd is one of those who found 2020 a source of inspiration and creativity. Mm. Uh, he say, said, quote, the pandemic, the Black Lives Matter movement, and the tensions of the election have mostly created a sense of gratitude for what I have and closeness with the people around me. Uh, no word yet on when the new album is coming, but it might not be too far off, it sounds, especially if he's already like talking about it openly. Who gets to get... So... Well, they weren't, weren't they talking... Originally, Drake was supposed to be out sometime in the summer, and yeah. then the last thing I remember reading was sometime at the end of this month. But if it was at the end of this month, you'd probably see more about it, right? People were pushing... People thought that it was going to come out January 1st. I think he's going to put it out mid-January. Okay, okay. And I'm going to say the weekend sometime in the spring. Okay. Yeah. All or right. like the day of, or day before. <laughs> Drake. And that's what's trending in PJ. All right, so you want to live rent-free? We could actually do that for you. Our first keyword for you to live rent-free with 99.9 Virgin Radio in 2021 starts in six minutes. Is Ava Max. Live rent-free with 99.9 Virgin Radio. We're already getting text messages Woo! about this. I am ready for my 30K, $30,000 wow. slash live and rent-free for the entirety of 2021. We're making it happen for you, and we're going to do it every single day at 8, 10, 1, 3, and 5, and here's how it works. We're going to give you a keyword, and we're going to give you 10 minutes to text that keyword along with your name to 99999. The keyword's got to be spelled correctly, and it's got to be the first thing in the text message. The text message must include your name as well. All part of the contest rules. Assuming you get that right, which should be super easy, then after that, we're going to call you back after that 10-minute window. And ring, if we do ring. call you back, we are going to call you with a brand new smart speaker so you can listen to us Ooh. at home anytime. And you can be like, hey, Google, turn on 99.9 Virgin Radio. I like that morning show. And you can also be like, hey, Google, set a timer for five minutes. To do what? I don't know. I use just, mine for timer. Just to pretend yeah, you got yeah. a friend who's yeah. looking out for you. And it goes now, off in five minutes. You're yeah. like, oh, someone remembered. The keyword right now, the keyword right now is rent. R-E-N-T, rent. So text rent and your name to triple nine, double nine. You got 10 minutes. We'll call you back. And we are looking for our first person in the draw for rent free in 2021. I might be bad. Virgin Radio. So you get your keyword. When you text to it to us at triple nine double nine, today it was rent. We're gonna have another one, by the way, at 10 a.m. And uh, then what we do is we call you back, like we did with you, Kayla. What's going on? Not much. What are you doing? Well, uh, you're just hanging with you, girl. We're, we're trying to find yeah. someone actually to to give rent to for an entire year. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we thought it'd be pretty cool, and you are the very first person to qualify for the big grand prize draw. Congratulations! Yay! Oh, we lost her. Are you still there? Here, I'm here. Oh, okay. okay. All right. The phone cut out. What does a year without rent look like for you? What would that money go towards? Saving for our wedding instead. Oh, oh that's a good yeah. call. There yeah. you go. There you go. Well, congratulations. And we're hooking you up with a little smart speaker so you can listen to 99.9 Virgin Radio whenever you want from your home. And it's Virgin Mornings with Adam Wilde, TJ Ojax. On 99.9 Virgin Radio. If you could hope for two albums this year, or at least from two specific artists, I got to say Drake and Rihanna got to be the top of everybody's list, yeah. right? Now, Rihanna this weekend said, I, I, I guess somebody was like, hey, how about you like... She put was, out the damn album? Well, yeah, because yeah, yeah. her Instagram caption was, you know, New Year's resolution, put the yeah. pressure on them. Yeah. And then they're like, how about you put some pressure on getting your album done? Yeah. And then she, <laughs> she said, this comment is so 2019, grow up. <laughs> and then somebody else said, speaking of pressure, it's the album for me. Yeah. So she, they're just getting so she on her. No well, she, she has no time. She has no time She did it. say in an interview, too, that, um, that basically when the album does come out, it will not be, like, all these albums that are coming out, it's like inspired by the people of the pandemic. And, yeah. and she's like, I'm doing the exact opposite. It's going to be all party music yeah. because she's like, we're all sick and tired of this thing. We yeah. got to have some fun. So when it does inevitably come, it will be exciting and fun and awesome. I just feel like we're not going to get a Rihanna album if it's a party album till the summertime when party music's I in. I just got chills thinking about dancing to her new album. Right? Oh. Imagine during Pride. Yeah. Oh, right? Don't! Don't play with my gay heart. So oh. <laughs> the other one we're looking for is Drake. And he's been teasing and teasing and teasing. We thought Since it was like going to be summer. last summer, wasn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. And then anyway, so we the, the next sort of theory out there was that it was going to be January 1st, like right at midnight. No album. 
He did debut a bit of a new haircut on Instagram. I'm not actually sure if I that's Photoshop. Yeah, but it looked was, like yeah. Justin Bieber's old like swipe over yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, and we did get some new lyrics, we think, on his Insta story. So I'm going to run these by you. I want to know what you think. Okay, all right, cool. So, can't love someone more than they love themselves. Can't respect someone more than they respect themselves. And deaf can't want more for someone than they want for themselves. That's all self-work. Work, yeah. So he, and he also put the the little backslash in there. Mm -hmm. So it feels like those are album lyrics. No, I think he was just like getting introspective and it wasn't a fight yeah. with a gal over the weekend. That's what I think it was. I don't was. know. Yeah. Put up the emo haircut. Yeah. Now he's got the emo lyrics. Maybe he's putting out an album with Simple Plan. <laughs> you oh, never no. know. <laughs> Circa 2006. <laughs> <laughs> Please go. No. Oh, it's 99.9 Virgin Radio. Hey, your boy, baby. Virgin Mornings with Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jax. On 99.9 Virgin Radio. Let me ask you this. Has there ever been, like, so, so you've dated several different people in your life mm -hmm. and you've met several different ways. You've, you've met people at like, when, when bars existed, a bar. Mm -hmm. Yep. You met them through friends. Yep. And then you've met people on dating apps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed any difference in the happiness levels of those relationships based on where you met someone? Happiness, no. There is a weird sense of pride I got when I would tell people I met this person in person. In and real I, life. Yeah. yeah. Like, that was kind of a, a big brag for me at one point. Really? I don't know why. Because it's I think a lot of people place a lot of yeah. uh, a lot of importance on where they meet and how they meet. The serendipity of it. Yeah, or yeah. maybe it's just like the astonishment because it's so rare right now, right? Because everybody's yeah. dating online. Yeah. So... Interestingly, they have done studies on this, and a new study published last Wednesday says that Tinder, Bumble, and other matchmaking tech often associated with one-night stands um, also show that people are not any less happier than they would meet normally. So, like, you know, when your parents are like, you need to meet someone like the normal way, not like on these dating apps or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Don't listen to them. Yeah, it's You'll not be fine. True. In addition, uh, women who met their partners on dating apps had stronger fertility desires yeah. and intentions than those who found a pot partner offline. And they said, knowing that dating apps have lightly become more popular uh, during this year's periods of lockdown and social distancing, it is reassuring to dismiss alarming concerns about the long-term effects of dating these dating tools because a lot of people see them as one-night stand-a-thons. Yeah. Which they can be if you want to use them that way. And there's nothing wrong with that, by the way. Go ahead and do you. Just yeah. be safe. The other thing is, though, that it doesn't preclude you from have finding a long-term relationship. You just need to find someone who's looking for one. Most time, folks that I know that are in relationships that have met online are happier because they also know each other's common goals before going into sure. it. And that's Precedence. the thing, right? Precedence exactly. setting. So, like, you know what your interests are. You know if you want kids, don't want kids. If you're looking for long-term, maybe if you're not open to moving or, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, these are the things you discuss before you even get really into I, I it. I gotta say something, though. If you're a guy and yeah. you want to get no matches ever, tell them you don't want kids. <laughs> Oh yeah, really? yeah. My Bumble profile. When I first set it up, because mm -hmm. I don't want kids. I've obviously yeah. had the operation done. Like I'm, I've, I have a child. I'm happy. Old. Vivi. Yeah. yeah. Um, beyond that, when you write this, like I put up, you know, don't want any kids. Yeah. You know, uh, and I got zero matches. So oh. I, so I just removed the option yeah. after a week or two, and it was like ping, 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 and really? I started getting a bunch of matches because. I don't. I don't know why. Yeah, and it's huh. funny because everybody I've talked to, when they, when when I was talking that sort of thing, they'd be like, "So you know, what are your your plans?" Because people always ask that. I'm like, "No kids," and that didn't seem to be a problem. But when you put it on really? your profile, you do. For, this is just in the cis straight world. Yeah. It's not something that people respond to well, and I don't know why. That's interesting. Yeah. Even if they don't want it themselves, I thought the straight girls be hyped for that. I, I, know. I, I know. know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Straight girls be hype is something I never thought. Yeah. I'd wow. Say. 2021. I'm. Uh, I'm cool. You're on saying fire. things like that, huh? <laughs> Please welcome. So we we're talking about meeting on dating apps, yeah. and uh, one of the things that came up was I said, if if you say in your profile you don't want kids as a guy yeah. um, you, I found that you didn't really get any matches but if you just remove the option completely and talk about the kids thing later yeah. then that's fine and it seems like you get a bunch more matches and we got a text from Hamilton and I, I have to read this because this is so smart they said listen Adam when you say you don't want kids single moms take that as in you don't want their kids Oh, as in so like it's not specific enough. Yeah, don't so they'll swipe around, left yeah. because it because it makes it seem like you don't want kids around at all. So you gotta write in your profile, I don't want our kids. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I want your kids, but not our kids. I have a kid and don't want yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. no. Anyway, yeah. So like, and that's the thing. It's and it's just a really good point because I didn't put my daughter in my dating profile, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Ever so, be? Yeah. So I think I was like, damn. 
Brilliant. Yeah. Anyway, just thought I should let you know that. And this is what's trending right now. Ontario confirms it will go ahead with in-school learning start dates. So in the letter sent to parents this weekend, Stephen Lecce reiterated that schools are not a source of rising community transmission and that the institutions have been protected in part due to uh-huh. the extent of the holiday break. Publicly funded elementary schools will would be closed until uh, at least January 11th. And it looks like secondary students, schools, pardon me, secondary school students in southern Ontario uh, were told that they will not be returned to the classroom until January 25th. That could probably change a little bit, I'm mm-hmm. sure. But as of right now, that's what it's looking but like. But there is online learning, right? Do you there is online like learning. Zoom? And there are certain, like, Catholic schools and stuff are a little bit different. Like, it kind of depends on where you're going. But okay. as it stands right now, that's what it's looking like. Oh, God. Hey, did you get into it a little bit over the holidays? Probably not as much as a man in the UK who got drunk and legally changed his name to Celine Dion. The man, formerly known as Thomas Dodd, had absolutely no <laughs> recollection Tommy, of the name change Tommy. until he got the documents in the mail day, days later. He says he does recall watching a Celine Dion concert on TV one night while drinking at home, but does not remember what happened after he became intoxic- intoxicated. Been there. No word yet on whether he plans to change it, change it back, but he does say he hopes it will get him backstage to meet her. So I guess in the UK, you could submit this online. Like, I yeah, because it takes it takes yeah. eons here. Yeah. It takes like ask anybody that tried to change their name after a marriage or something yeah. like that. It takes forever. I guess in the UK you can. It's just like yeah. that. <laughs> can you change somebody else's name? Don't. <laughs> don't, I don't what do you have in know. mind, Jax? I don't know. Jax can legally change my name to like the Hamburglar yeah. or something. Watch out. We finally might be getting a new Rihanna album in 2021. Well, probably not. But she oh, did God. answer some uh, some questions on her Instagram. So she she put up an Instagram photo with the caption New Year's resolution apply pressure and then somebody wrote resolution should be releasing the album she's talking about the the new uh, R9 and Rihanna didn't seem too thrilled about it and she commented back this comment is so 2019 grow up she's harsh I love it Rihanna's got to get used to that because I don't think this is going away she can tell off as many people as she wants we need a new album like it's it's enough you tell her we what don't need you? another Go Fenty line we need a Rihanna album to go with a new Fenty I one. need something to believe in. I have a theory because she did mention before we were talking about this a little bit earlier that she wants like party like upbeat music. Yeah. I think the album's done. I think she's just kind of reading the room and she's like it's not the time for my sweet party album that's yeah, going to change maybe. the world. Yeah. Maybe this summer. That's my theory. And that's what's trending. I'm TJ. Uh, 99.9 Virgin Radio. I don't know about you but I've been getting these crazy dreams mm-hmm. lately especially last night and I feel like it had something to do with coming back to work. I, I had a dream and this is always happens right so I'm trying to run out of a house mm-hmm. for some reason it's like the mid 1800s don't get why and I can't and I'm running from something scary I don't know what it is and then I tried to open the door and can't. I couldn't open the door to the last second and then I opened the door and then I looked behind me and there's just like gray ghost figure whatever that means a fear of being trapped in some part of your life is that right yeah that it's that like it means that, that you feel said? really it means that you feel stuck yeah okay I've had that dream before I looked it up well, but it I didn't feel Googling good to find it. that out <laughs> <laughs> well listen it, it's it, what I don't believe in like dream th- or like whatever it yeah, is you like should. your dreams don't really mean anything yeah, however yeah, however if you've been finding that they're more vivid there's a reason for that and apparently according to research since the pandemic started, because yeah. there's been a lot of lockdown, intense dreams that people are having, our brains get flooded with neurotransmitters and chemicals like adrenaline and a few other things that I can't pronounce. Yeah. Uh, when they're activated, even if it's during the day, it can actually remain present when you're sleeping and can interrupt your regular sleep cycle and cause those vivid dreams. So <sighs> doctors are saying if you're experiencing higher levels of stress, your ability to let your guard down and sleep normally gets deeply impaired. Huh. I'm always naked somewhere. <laughs> in my like dreams. in your dreams? I have a lot. Yeah. Present. Really? Yeah. And I think it's like, it has something to do with like fear of vulnerability. What if it just yeah. was a dream? Na- what if it's just your brain being like, hey, I'm naked? Hey, I'm wouldn't it be weird if you were naked public. in Metro? <laughs> that I'm naked in public and I can't do anything about it and I feel terrified. I always have dreams that I'm not prepared for stuff. Like it's the oh, first yeah, day of school, yeah. or at least I think it is. And then when I get there, school actually started four days ago. So I'm behind. Oh, God. Oh, no. It's not, it's, I'm even boring in my subconscious because it's not something like fun. It's just like, oh, you're a day late for school and I'm a little bit behind. Yeah. Do you have clothes on? I hope. I don't know. I never really looked Does it out. Check, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Check. Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jax. On 99.9 Virgin Radio. Have you ever unintentionally had to watch sex on TV or in a movie? With your parents. 
Unintentionally, obviously. Oh, yeah. Because, okay, so here's the thing. Bridgerton, the new yeah. Netflix show, it's a Shonda Rhimes show. Yeah. Shonda Rhimes has done a ton of different shows. Um, uh, most importantly, Jax's mom's favorite show, which is... Grey's Anatomy? That's right. Grey's Anatomy, and baby. Sh- Shonda Rhimes is, like, incredible, the amount of content this woman has created, and Netflix has signed Machine, her to a huge yeah. deal. Yeah. So this is one of, like, seven shows she's got coming out for Netflix. But Bridgerton took over over the holidays, and there was one scene in particular that was, like, a big deal, yeah. and it's the spoon scene. Now, if you haven't yeah. seen the show, basically the, mag- the, the main character, the male main character, who is gorgeous, by the way, mm-hmm. is eating, like, a little frosty dessert, and he does he puts the spoon in his mouth, and then, oh, and then, doing it and then he licks the back of it. Uh, don't, the, I don't like when And then you it's do like, it. yeah, I'm telling you, man, it's the scene that's taken off around the world. You got to see this. There's, it's it's, it's pretty a good hot. thing we can't go at the restaurants right now. Otherwise, people will be licking <laughs> yeah. spoons. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I so, don't know how I felt about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, the thing with Bridgerton is it's sort of like supposed to be any Kira Knightley movie that you've seen in the last 20 years, except yeah. for Star Wars. It's basically her, yeah. like, but there's a lot of graphic sex in it. And yeah. a lot of people are tweeting about, I did not expect yeah. a Shonda Rhimes show to have this. And I was, you know, they're at their parents or something for the holidays yeah. and they're watching this show that everybody's watching. And then all of a sudden there's this graphic sweaty sex. Yeah. Somebody described the show as like Pride and Prejudice, but with more like stairwell sex. Yeah. Something like That's that. Great. Yeah, no, 2021. Like, Let's go not, do it with sex. Not yeah. a bad... It, I mean, it's a fun show. It's really good um, after the first episode. Is I think it, you gotta, yeah. yeah, give it an episode and a half. You'll be into it. Okay. Now, my question to you is that awkward moment you were caught mm-hmm. watching something very sexy with your parents in the room. Jax, I know <laughs> because you had the most traumatic childhood of us all yeah. that you are going to lead this conversation. So please tell the story. Brand new IMAX Cedars in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Pumped. Titanic. Bears just Lake. out. Bears Lake. That's right. Pumped to go to the movie. My father bought the whole family tickets to go see Titanic. I am very young. <laughs> oh, no. And you know the car scene? The, uh, oh, the yeah. Scene. Can you describe yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's after, been a the, while. after the scribbling yep. scene. Yeah. Watch, watching that with mom and dad in the theater. <laughs> like, I'm like sweating, like just chugging orange crush. Being like, oh my God, what are these feelings? <laughs> yeah, it was like not a good situation. You feel like, warm but uncomfortable. Yeah, I was like, I'm a woman now. This, I have turned into a woman at the movie theater with my family. <laughs> you just oh, leave with a different God, look in yeah. your eyes. Oh, hey, I remember, I'm ready. I remember watching the first season of Homeland with my mom. Oh. And oh. there's this one really like there's a car scene. Yeah. And you're like another another one of these car yeah. scenes. And I was like, I was like, oh my God. Yeah. I'm like, I am like now I'm a man. I, I, yeah. I, I was 23, but oh. yeah. <laughs> Sounds like you That's guys can't worse. watch anything with a yeah. car in it anymore. It just triggers you. I uh the year is 2003. Yeah. I'm 11 years old, and my parents think it's a good idea to take me to see American Wedding with them. The third installment What's that one? in American the American Pie, Pie movies. Oh, oh no. And there is a whole bunch of scenes yes. in which That's an 11 on your year parents, old, honey. Take it yeah. easy. Yeah, American Pie, known. like they shouldn't have taken yeah, you to Yeah, you're see right. That, that is yeah. on your parents. Yeah, mom and dad, what are you thinking? Yeah. So 416 87299 nine double nine to text. Everybody's got this story. Sex sort of came on the TV show you guys yeah. were watching and your parents were there and you were there and you were trying to pretend that each other didn't exist in that moment. Oh, God. <laughs> Tell us about it. It's 99.9 Virgin Radio. Radio. Awkward sex scenes you had to watch with your parents accidentally because a lot of people found out that Bridgerton has some pretty yeah. extreme moments and they were watching with their parents going, oh, it's just a nice little period drama like Downton Abbey. No, Wrong. it's not. Mary, good morning. What's up? Good, how are you guys? Good. So it's the, it's the uh, we're watching this movie with our parents and awkwardly this crazy insane sex scene happens and yours was during the movie what? American Beauty. Oh my God. I've never seen it. <laughs> so, what? Yeah, you got to okay. see American Beauty. You got to see American Beauty. It, it, the worst part about it was we saw it on my dad's 42nd birthday. Oh. The opening scene is Kevin Spacey in the shower being like, I'm 42 years old and this is going to be the highlight of my day. And I'm like, oh God. <laughs> and we're in a movie theater. We're in a movie theater. I was like 14 or 15 because however long ago this was. And, it was the wor- and then, of course, the rest of the movie, there was a couple other... 
moments, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Or, like, he's yearning after the whatever, uh, I want to say Thor Barker. Like a teenager was, next like, door. <laughs> like, it's. Yeah, like, oh my God, it was the worst. Like, <laughs> yeah, and you're stuck in a theater. You're not even at home to, that, like, you know, excuse yourself. Yeah, like, that's true. What I love is that that movie's at least, like, 15, 20 years old, and you could still remember it. It's yeah. seared yeah. into your memory. Oh. It's seared in my brain. I don't think I ever want to watch it. I think it's because the movie theater ex- experiences are worse yeah. because you're paying like twenty dollars to to sit in that awkward moment with your parents. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Twenty dollars for the ticket. And then and then hold on, you're not just sitting there with your parents. You're sitting there with everybody else's parents yeah, exactly. too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You always in me. So you were stuck watching a movie or a TV show with your parents, and there were some graphic sex scenes in it. Yeah. What was it? For, what was the movie? It was The Wolf of Wall Street. Oh my God! And who were you watching with? So I actually opted to go home and my siblings and my parents all went out to watch the movie Uh uh and it was in the theater and after the movie was done I got text messages from each and every one of them (laughs) saying how awful it was to be sitting there Uh with each other watching this movie and my brother actually said I can't make eye contact with mom and dad right now yeah Ah. that's uh (laughs) there's like multiple points in that movie where you're like oh this is too much it's not even (laughs) it's it's not even all the sex like the drug stuff in that movie is yeah. insane oh, and you're like I just don't want to know what was yeah. going on so, in the 80s that movie's a lot yeah. it's yeah. a lot yeah and a very long a lot yeah. yeah yeah no Leonardo DiCaprio movie can be under no. three hours no. so well there's there's a bullet dodged huh yes for sure but I had to hear about it from all four of them um TJ we've got a lot of text messages rolling in yeah from the 519 Jax mentioned how she saw Titanic in theater oh, with her yeah. parents oh mom and dad uh, someone said similar situation to Jax except my mom thought it would be a nice outing to take my grandma to oh god so there are Rose and Jack going at it while I'm sitting beside my mom and my grandmother. Nana's like, what is this? Yes. Poor Nana. Oh, Nana knows. Nana knows. Are you kidding me? Nana. It is Nana. Just, Nana. Nana's got a couple generations that he's beside her. I'm just trying to protect aware. the innocence of Nana, okay? <laughs> Nana doesn't need your help. Okay. Then the text in the 647, I was hanging out with my son in his room over the holidays and he was watching Shameless. So I thought Ooh. I'll watch so it with him. so much sex in Shameless. Oh, Fiona got naked. Um, I'm not sure how he felt, but I just got up and walked out. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> I knew that staying there would just make us both uncomfortable. Yeah. My son is 15, and I've already watched it all, so I should have known better. That's from yeah. Natasha. Wow. Uh, last one here from the 416. Every single Game of Thrones episode. <laughs> I used to watch Game of Thrones with my parents, and it was like they made it their goal to make watching it the most uncomfortable hours of my life. Yeah. I After mean, the first two or three, you could have figured it out, though, right? Yeah. I mean, they keep it in the family, you know? No. Sh- oh, yeah. Just stay tuned for the Virgin Mornings. With What's Trending. And this is What's Trending. Right now. Ontario confirms it's going to go ahead with in-school learning start dates. In a letter sent to parents this weekend, Stephen Lecce uh, reiterated that schools are not a source of rising community transmission and that the institutions have been protected in part due to the extended holiday break. So publicly funded elementary schools uh, could be opening by January 11th and secondary school students in southern Ontario uh, could be returning to the classroom January 25th. Those dates aren't exactly concrete, it doesn't sound like. They're still kind of like playing it by ear and see what's going to happen. But it's, it's mm-hmm. you know, there you go. There you go. School stuff. Yeah. <laughs> hey, did you get into it a little bit over the holidays? I'm sure you did. We all probably did a little bit. Probably not as much as a UK man, though, who got drunk and legally changed his name to Celine Dion. The man, formerly known as Thomas Dodd, had absolutely no recollection of the name oh. change until he got documents in the mail days later. So I guess in the UK, it's a lot easier than changing your name here. Yeah, and you can it's do really it. hard here. Yeah, you can yeah. do it online over there, I guess. So he does recall watching a Celine Dion concert on TV one night while drinking at home, but does not remember what happened after he became intoxicated. And there's no word on whether he plans to change it back, but he does say he hopes it will get him backstage to meet her. Now... I have been to a Celine Dion concert in person. You in the love before. Celine. Yeah, you loved that concert. You won't stop talking about One it. One of the greatest concerts I've ever been to. And frankly, I don't blame him. I would legally change my name too to Celine Dion Do if it. it wasn't for all the paperwork. Do it. He has to talk to another republic, all that nonsense. The Weeknd says his new album is inspired by COVID, Black Lives Matter, and the 2020 election. That's right. The Weeknd is one of those people who found 2020 a source of inspiration and creativity. Uh, he says the pandemic, the Black Lives Matter movement, and the tensions of the election have mostly created a sense of gratitude for what I have yeah. and closeness with the people near me. Now, there's no word yet on when the new album is coming, but it doesn't sound like it's that far off. I would say uh, spring, spring. I think summer, spring. maybe. Oh. 
It comes mm-hmm. out before Drake's album. He's got two albums in between a Drake album. We gotta I'm, gonna, go. I'm gonna head up to the bridal path and tell Drake to hurry up. I'm, I'm sure yeah. his he security was. guard would love to let they me. They love seeing me. You know? Yeah, <laughs> they're like, ah, oh, she's back. That's what's trending. I'm TJ. Thank you, TJ. Now, in a couple of songs, how about living rent free in 2021? We'll give you a new keyword at 10 a.m. Now, what happens if you're dating somebody and you start to look at them, look like them? What does that? Mm-hmm. What does that sort of? Is there a name for that? Do we know? Uh, no, we can make one up. Jax. Lesbians. <laughs> so, it's called being a lesbian. So Jax is like, she walks in this morning, she's like, okay, my partner Michelle and I are starting to dress alike and yeah. it's a little bit scary. So yeah. tell us what's going on. So this is something that happens in the community once in a while, but okay. it's it's too close to home right now. I have Doc Martin boots and like, they're a good boot, but I... Uh, they're good. They are they're, a good, they're a good winter boot, you know, good winter boot. But over, over the holidays, Michelle ordered herself a pair... And didn't really tell me. And they just, yeah, didn't like really say anything. And like, I've had these docs for a while. Yeah. And I wear them a lot. And she bought a pair as well. And I haven't really said anything to her, but I don't want to wear them at the same time. Like, I don't want to be that Uh couple. I don't want to be that couple. And she's so excited about them. But I don't want to look like we can't be that gay. We can't. (laughs) We can't be that gay. Okay, so Uh, I'm a little bit weirded out that it it creeps you out because Jax, you and I wear very similar outfits like all the time. Yeah, but she's not not sleeping with you. Yeah, I'm not sleeping with you. So here's the thing. (laughs) (laughs) Here's what I would say. I think there's a little jealousy going on with Jax and and, and Michelle. So tell me what you think of this. Triple nine double nine four one six eight seven two ninety nine ninety nine. I think what? that Jax is upset because Jax's pair of docks are older. Yeah. And Michelle's oh. are newer and nicer. These are let's be honest. Does Michelle look better in the docks? Like she looks real cute. Yeah. 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 <laughs> See? But I don't know. I and think she might be a little jealous. She doesn't there. mind like matching. Like she was making jokes that maybe we'll have matching shoes in the summer. Like she's down it's for this. A slippery I'm not. Slope to it you. is. It like is. this is the first step towards yeah. you guys both wearing like the same shirts and shorts. Yeah. And, 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 and then wearing each other's an, clothes. Uh, yeah. Coming, that, happens. Yeah. that happens. Yeah. That right? happens. Right? You steal each other's yeah. clothes. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay. So here's here's yeah. Because yeah, I've, I've every relationship I've gotten into, my comfy clothes become our comfy oh, yes. clothes. Yeah. Only I don't get any of hers, which our I could sweats. never. Yeah. Yes. A hundred percent. Every every breakup means you're gonna buy new hoodies. Yeah. So here's the question: four one six eight seven two ninety nine ninety nine. Triple nine, double nine to text. Are you in a couple that matches? <laughs> and if you are in a couple that matches, <laughs> why? <laughs> How it's is it working place. out? Do people do people even notice? Because honestly, if you guys were in the same boots, I wouldn't even think about it. Really? But that's just not something I yeah. notice. Anyone call you out on it? It's uh, 99.9 Virgin Radio. Adam Wilde, TJ, and Matchy Poo. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Virgin Mornings with Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jax. A 99.9 Virgin So, uh, is it okay to look exactly like your partner? <laughs> like, as in, like, you start dating and then, like, you guys become twins. Yeah. Jax is worried that it's happening to her and her girlfriend, Michelle, already. You guys have been together, what, eight months now? Yeah, about that, yeah. Okay. And she bought a pair of Doc Martens, which Jax already has. Yeah, sneaky snake. And that is a big issue. Apparently. It's just like, because like the stereotype is that lesbians start to morph into each other. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to feed and perpetuate that stereotype. I think it's just jealous that she's got nicer docs than you do That's, now. I don't hate that theory. Yeah, no, cause, because like, you don't hate matching outfits. No, and she's like 100% the cooler, cooler stylish one in the relationship. Yeah. But I'm like, stop. Like, you've got your own thing going. Leave yeah. me alone. Yeah. Okay, well. What are the text messages saying, TJ? A lot of texts are coming in saying that they match with their partner from the 519. My partner and I just got matching pajamas for Christmas, and I think it's the best gift ever, but they haven't worn them yet. Oh. oh okay, so like one only... partner yeah, in the yeah, partnership yeah. likes this. <laughs> <laughs> I, Christmas seemed to be a big yeah. theme with this one. Over the break, it's from the 416. Over the break, my girlfriend bought us lightly matching sweaters. They're all black. Mine says hers on it, and hers says his on it. Stop it. No. And after hearing this conversation, it feels like this is the beginning of the end. You know, <laughs> Actually, I have a story. So when I was playing hockey growing up yeah. in, in a house league in at Heron Park in West oh, Hill, big deal. Oh, I was I'm not a not an athlete. Athlete. Guy. And uh, <laughs> my my dad and stepmom both were salespeople for CBC News World at the time. Oh right, yeah, yeah. And so what they had when they used to go on sales calls were these CBC News World jackets. Yeah. And so <laughs> the jackets, of course, were bright yellow because yeah. why wouldn't they be? Yeah, like and that was their yeah. winter jacket for the year. Yeah. So I would always be able to pick up my parents from the stands in this. Yeah. T- terribly lit, terrifying arena that was here in Park before it was renovated. Yeah, I just had to look for bananas and just, pajamas. Yeah, literally bananas <laughs> and pajamas. That's yeah. exactly what yeah. I thought. I, I know. Yeah, I, I yeah, crazy. It. Anyway, 
Another one here that's really cute. My husband and I totally match. We both wear blundstones, and our outfit colors usually match. He dresses how I would dress if I was a guy, and I dress how he would dress if he was a girl. So we just have the same style. Oh, and I they live in the West End. Yeah, yeah. Blundstones are cheating, though. They're ubiquitous. Have, everybody has Blundstones. That's like saying, hey, we both were aviators. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. Well. What? Aviators. There's tons of a couple aviator people wearing aviators out there as a couple. In 2006. Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> Get out of here. Appreciate. I'm coming over there. We were...